Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a 3G USB wireless modem as a WAN failover connection in the event that your primary WAN or ISP connection goes offline. So within the sonic wall here, we've got our X1 interface, which is our primary internet connection. And then we have a U0, which is our USB 3G modem card. Now if we take a peek at the 3G, we can see that it's uh, enabled, but it's uh, currently inactive. And we got a semi-decent uh, signal strength, three bars. So let's demonstrate what happens here. First, we're going to go over to one of our quick tools that's going to show us our IP address. And we'll do a refresh. And as you can see, our IP address, 98.220.163.127. And we're coming out of Fishers, Indiana for our primary connection. Now let's go back to the sonic wall. Under the log, we're going to watch our WAN availability and we're going to go ahead and disconnect our WAN interface. Now you can see our log is going to fill up with information showing that our connection, our primary connection was disabled and it's going to go ahead and fail over to the next resource that's available, which in this case is our network connection over the dial up, the 3G modem. And to go ahead and verify that it's working, go back to our firewalls.com tool, press F5. You can see our IP address changed to a 32164, which looks like we're connecting out of Buffalo, New York, over the AT&T 3G wireless network. Once the primary internet connection comes back online, it will automatically fail back over to our primary connection. So let's go ahead and go back to our log. And we'll go ahead and connect in our WAN connection. And now as you can see, we've gone ahead and failed back to our primary interface, which was our WAN connection. And the dial-up has been overridden and shut down. So if we go back to our IP address tool here, refresh the page, you'll see we're back to our 98.220 address out of Fishers, Indiana. So as you can see, this is a very powerful feature that's included in many of the models of the Sonic Wall Firewall appliances. And it works very well with some of the popular vendors, including AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. And in most cases, those modems are pretty cheap, 30, 40, 50 bucks. And once again, it's a great way to keep your network up and running in the event that your primary WAN connection goes offline. Okay, we hope you found this video informative. If you've got any questions or comments, you can enter them in the section below. If you're already a SonicWall user and you want to know how to implement and set up these features within your SonicWall, there's a link down below that'll take you to our advanced video that'll walk you through each one of those steps to make sure that you have this service running on your firewall as well. All right, have a great day.